What is this graph? Graph is a collection of points. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 vertices are there. Loop. So what is this loop? Loop means the cycle. Multiple edges are also known as parallel edges. Hello everyone, welcome back to my new session. I'm Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyashram First Rate College, Mysore. In my previous session, I have discussed binomial coefficient. So already we have completed three units in discrete transformation. Today I will start the new concept in fourth unit, graph theory. It is very important concept for computer science students. Let's get started. Today I will discuss about graph theory concept in unit 4. The first chapter is graph theory. What is this graph? Graph is a collection of points. In mathematics, graph is an important computational tool. And graph values are called nodes and their connections are called as edges. Graph values are called as nodes and their connections are called as edges. Graph is a computational tool and graph can be represented by the symbol G. Graph is a collection of points called vertices and collections of lines are called as edges. Graph is a collection of points called vertices and collection of lines are called as edges. So G is equal to V comma E. So G means graph is equal to vertices comma edges. So graph means is a collection of vertices and collection of lines called as edges. A graph G is a collection of points called vertices and collection of lines are called as edges which joins either in pair of vertices or a single vertex. Example for graph, graph is a collection of points Collection of points are called as vertices V1, V2, V3 and V4. Collection of points and collection of lines. Collection of lines called as edges. So this is E1, E2, E3 and E4. Graph is a collection of points called vertices and collection of lines are called as edges which joins either in pair of vertices or a single vertex. This is about the definition of graph and a graph G is an ordered pair. So G is equal to V comma E. V stands for vertices and E is edges. Where V is non-empty of vertices and E is a non-empty set of edges. So V means non-empty set of vertices and E is edges. So where V is equal to, it can be V1, V2, V3 up to Vm. So vertices, V is equal to V1, V2, V3, V4 up to Vm. And E is equal to edges E1, E2, E3 up to En. Here and example G of V and E. G is equal to V comma E. G means graph, V is vertices and edges. And example for graph, example in 1 comma 0, graph how many edges are there? So here graph is equal to V comma E, right? So V means vertices and E means edges. So 1 comma 0, how many edges are there? So one vertices, vertices is one and edges are zero, clear? And you can give any other example. This is one graph. So this is A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven vertices are there, seven vertices and how many edges are there? So E1, E2, E3, E4, E5 and E6. So 
six edges. So G is equal to seven comma six. So we have seven vertices and six edges. This is an example for graph. In graph, we have different types. Let's understand with an example. So which are the types of graphs? So here in graph, we have loop. So what is this loop? Loop means it's a cycle, right? An edge joining a vertex itself, itself is called loop. An edge joining a vertex. Example for loop, an edge joining a vertex. This is V1, V2 and V3. An edge joining a vertex itself. Itself means edge joining a vertex itself means this is called as loop. An edge joining a vertex itself means loop. So now we have two loops here for vertex one, V1 and vertex V3. How many edges are there? E1, E2, E3, E4 and E5. So totally we have five edges because the vertex join itself here and the vertex join itself. This is called as loop. This is an example for loop. So you can give any other example. So here the vertex join itself. This is V1, V2, V3 and V4. So we have E1, E2, E3, E4 and E5. Clear? This is an example for loop. So loop means an edge joining a vertex itself is called as loop. It's very important for two marks question. If it is two marks, just write the definition with an example. So here the loops are E4, E4 and E5. E4 and E5 are the loops. E4 and E5 are the loops. Clear? And in this graph, E5 is a loop. So E5 is loop. Clear? And the next one, multiple edges or parallel edges. Multiple edges are also known as parallel edges. So what is this multiple edges? Multi means what? Many. If there are more than one edges joining a pair of vertices, this edge is called as multiple edges or parallel edges. If there are more than one edges, if there are more than one edges joining a pair of vertices, then we can call it as it is a parallel edges or multiple edges. I'll write the example for multiple edges. Here V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. Clear? If there are more than one edges joining a pair of vertices. So here we have V1 and V2 and V2 to V3. If there are more than one edges, already we have one edges, right? So to V1 and V2, we have one edges. If there are more than one edges joining to pair of vertices, then we can call it as it is a multiple edges. So how many edges are there here? So this is E1, E2. E3, E4 and E5 and E6. There are two edges are joining together to pair of vertices. So for V1 and V2, we have two edges that is E1 and edge E6. This is called as multiple edges. So here also you can draw a pair of vertices. So E6 and E7. Totally we have seven edges, seven edges. But how many vertices? V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. We have five vertices. Clear? So this is an example for parallel edges or multiple edges. Two marks question. And next one we have simple graph. So what is the simple graph? A graph without loop and without multiple edges are called as simple graph. So already I have told you about loop and multiple edges, right? So in simple graph, graph without loop and multiple edges are called as simple graph. It is very simple without edges and without loop. 
So here V1, V2 and V3. E1, E2 and E3. Is there any loops? No. And is there any multiple edges? No. This is called as simple graph. And here we have V1, V2, V3 and V4. So E1, edge E1, edge E2, E3, E4. Is there any loop? No loops and no multiple edges then we can consider as it is a simple graph. This is an example for simple graph. And next one we have multi graph. So multi edges is different and multi graph is different. A graph in which no loops are allowed but more than one edge can join two vertices is called multi graph. Example, understand the logic. A graph in which no loops are allowed. V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. No loops are allowed. There is no loops here but more than one edges can join two vertices. Here we don't have any loops but we have more than one edges joining two vertices. So more than one edges joining two vertices then we can consider it as it is a multi graph. So here V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. This is E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6 and E7. A graph with no self loop but more than one edge can join two vertices then it is called as multi graph. And next one pseudo graph. What is this pseudo graph? A graph which contain both multiple edges. Listen carefully. A graph which contain both multiple edges and loops are called pseudo graph. A graph which contain multiple edges. So already I have told you about multiple edges, right? So if the graph contains both multiple edges and loops are called as pseudo graph. Example. So here V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, V7 and V8. Here a graph which contain both multiple edges. Here I can draw a multiple edges and loops. Here I can draw a loop. A graph which contain both multiple edges and loops are called as pseudo graph. It is very simple logic. Graph theory is very very easiest concept. You can easily score in fourth unit also. It is very simple concept. Please understand the logic. So every types of graph is different here but the logic is almost same. So here a graph contain both multiple edges and self loop is called as pseudo graph. So here you can draw a multiple edges. So how many edges are there? E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, E7, so E8, E9 and E10. So we have vertices and edges. In this graph, a graph contains both multiple edges and self loop are considered as it is a pseudo graph. It is very simple concept. It is two marks question and the next one we have finite and infinite graph. So what is the meaning of finite? So it can easily countable. Infinite means it is not able to countable form. A graph with finite number of vertices is called a finite graph. A graph with finite number of vertices. It's a countable vertices. Example for finite graph. V1, V2, V3 and V4. A graph with finite number of vertices. So it is E1, E2 and E3. This is an example for finite graph. A graph with finite number of vertices is called as finite graph and what is this infinite graph it is uncountable a graph with infinite number of vertices and so that edges is called as infinite graph so example for infinite graph 
here. So here also you can join many lines. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4 vertices V1, V2 and V3 and V4. So if you want you can extend the lines. So V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, V7, V8, V9, V10, V11 etc. So here also edges E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, E7, E8, 9, 10 and again you can extend. Clear? This is infinite graph. This is an example for infinite graph. A graph with infinite number of vertices are called as infinite graph. A graph with finite number of vertices are finite graph. Infinite number of vertices means it's infinite graph. This is an example for finite and infinite graph. So today you learned the definition of graph and introduction about vertices and edges and different types of graphs that is loop, multiple graph, multi graph and simple graph, pseudo graph, finite and infinite graph. Today you learned the basic concepts in graph theory, definition and types of graphs, infinite graph, finite graph, loop, pseudo graph, multi graph, multiple graph, simple graph etc. So in my next session I will come with a new types of graphs and new concept. Thank you.